Okay, I'm going to use this just so I can show you how to get a PDF file. Just hit print. I use Primo PDF. It's free on the internet. Just click uh, create. And it's going to create the file. Open up its program. And then we'll create the PDF. We'll give it its name, which will be um, as tree. And we'll uh, click save. It's going to create the file. It's just going to take a couple minutes because I'm running the uh, screen capture program. And it's going to open it up in its program. And if you go down here and you type in 50 for 50%, 50 you can see, we can see the whole thing on the screen. Let's just make it as big as possible. Okay, and if we scroll down here, we can get it to fit. Come over here and select. You can select text or you can select a snapshot. We're choosing snapshot. You just come over here and highlight, drag, click and drag your mouse, let it go. And it's going to, see, it made a snapshot. It's on my clipboard now, so okay. And we can go over to make the cut. Over here on pixel trace and select paste. And now over here on color scan, if you just um, leave it pretty much as it is, it's on 8, and just apply. It's going to pick up every color. And import. We're done tracing. And let me just drag this little thing out of the way over here. And we can delete this layer, that the default. And you can see all the tracing it did. We don't need the little dots. We only want the solid green. So let me just make the whole thing bigger for you. And We'll just delete all these little dots. And that one. And this one is actually, even though it looks great, it's the white, but it'll cut a red square around it. So we don't need that. And now we're all set. This is what it will look like. The red is the cut. And we'll come over here and we'll export this as an SVG. Now you can directly send this to your Scan and Cut 2 once it's an SVG. Or if you only have the scan and uh, the original scan and cut, we can actually send this over to the uh, canvas. And let me just show you how to do that. Over in canvas, we'll just select an SVG and choose the as tree that we saved it as. Click OK, and here you go. Simple as that. And then all you need to do is you can resize it. You can do whatever you want in there. Um, leave it as it is, or you can just come over here and download it and pick your option, which you know have the option of sending it to your computer. Let me show you your computer, or you can send it to the cloud if you have to. And it's not there. You go, easy as that, and I hope it helped.